So it's my honor and privilege to introduce Vincent Culliver, who will be speaking, and his colleagues, Desiree Frost, Yosef Ghanem, and Idris Ahmed. Please come up. Thank you, Dan Ash, and thank you all for the opportunity to be with you today. It is an honor to speak on behalf of Outdoor Outreach. Through this program, each of us has developed a connection to the outdoors that has allowed us to see and do things we never thought possible. For, Le for Lexis, who could not join us today, not only did she learn to rock climb, but she learned to trust others to catch her when she fell. This allowed her to challenge herself in new ways. In two weeks, she'll be heading to Arizona as the first in her family to graduate high school and attend college. Fadi and Yusuf grew up in Iraq, where it was often too dangerous to be outside. Fadi told me that his connection with nature consisted of dumping his family's trash in the river. Throughout the outreach, Fadi learned to value the environment and his responsibility to protect the places where we all play. When Idris first joined Outdoor Outreach, his mom said, what's the point? Going outdoors for people with money, with too much money and too much time on their hands, excuse me. His brother told him that camping is for white people. But years later, the admissions counselor and the scholarship committee told him that it was his outdoor leadership experience that set him apart from all other candidates. Today, he is a junior at Stanford University with a Gates Millennium Scholarship. He still returns every summer to work at Outdoor Outreach. And needless to say, his family now supports his connection to the outdoors. <laughs> when I first came to San Diego with my family, we were homeless, and life was very difficult. Outdoor Outreach had a program with Monarch, the school I attended, and I started surfing, rock climbing, snowboarding, mountain biking, etc. And through these ongoing activities, I developed a connection with the outdoors that has helped me in every aspect of life. I have gained confidence in myself, discovered leadership skills I never knew I had, and received job training and employment as an instructor with Outdoor Outreach. I truly love sharing the connection with the outdoors with others and opening those, uh, those doors for them. I regularly take my mom, brother, and sister to explore our parks and beaches and go rock climbing, surfing, snorkeling, and again, etc. <laughs> Last month, we ran an outing in San Diego Bay for nearly 80 Iraqi refugee students. We taught them to kayak and stand up paddleboard as a way to help them adjust to life in San Diego. We had kids out there who had never been in the ocean before with huge smiles on their faces. We had a young lady dressed in her head garment and blue jeans just head to toe covered and you could tell uh, she was very scared of the ocean. And by the end of the day, she took to it like a fish and loved it. I'd like to say thank you to everyone here today for your work to connect youth to nature and the outdoors. I can tell you from my personal experience that it's a huge impact. Today's announcement is a big step forward as we work to ensure that all youth have a connection to the outdoors that inspires them to see possibility and opportunity in their lives. As you launch this important initiative, we have some recommendations for you based on our own experiences. First off, it is not enough to simply increase physical access to the outdoors. Many feel like it is not a place for people like them. There need to be more efforts to bring youth and their families to these places to show them that they are safe, fun, and doable. Partnering with schools is a great way to get more kids outside while increasing the perception that these activities are both safe, worthwhile, and again, doable. Go recess. <laughs> Secondly, kids have a lot of energy. Use recreation and experiential activities to get youth uh, to feel physically connected to the outdoors. Once they have this connection, they're more inclined and more likely to care about the education and stewardship lessons that must follow. Lastly, when we reach out to communities that don't have a strong connection to the outdoors, we must understand and speak to their values. Things like family, education, and health. In closing, we would like to recognize Secretary Sally Jewell, Director Dan Ash, and Project Leader Andy Ewan for their efforts to connect youth to the outdoors. 
in giving you these t-shirts, we welcome you as honorary members of the Outdoor Outreach family. And look forward to having you join us on a youth outreach.